what you reap is what you sow. We're back at the Warrior Fight Store in Pickering, Ontario, with Patrick the Predator Cote. Patrick, thanks for taking the time. The first question's got to be, how's your leg feeling? Uh, leg feel good. You know, I had surgery a month ago, and uh, now I'm, I'm walk on it, and uh, back in the gym since two weeks, and uh, I can do conditioning, and I swim a lot, and uh, I'll start the, the, the fight training maybe in April, and uh, I'll be back in June, probably. Well, that's that's excellent. It's great to hear that you'll be back. Um, what's probably the, the most important thing for you right now in conditioning your knee? Uh, not gaining too much weight. <laughs> That's the most important thing, but uh, I have to have to be careful because even if I feel my knee strong, inside it's still weak because the, the ligament is it's, it's, it's weak. So I have to take care of my body. It's, it's my tool, you know. I work on it with it, with it. So I have to be careful and just take time. And when you come back, where, where do you find yourself in the division? Actually, I, I want a big fight uh, right away when I'll be back. You know, um, I know they, they will not give me a title fight right away, but I want a big fight to have a title fight maybe the next fight after, the, after the, my win and my, my comeback fight. So I want to get back in the, in the action uh, on the top as soon as possible. How did it feel being the first guy in the UFC to take Anderson Silva to the third round? Feel good, but you know, just big bad luck happened, bad time. But uh, you know, I'm ready to to do it again if they give me a chance. <laughs> well, if the fight continued and you unfortunately didn't hurt your knee, mm -hmm. what would have happened? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe uh, we we'll have the belt right now. But uh, the thing is, uh, we were exactly where we wanted to be uh, in the third round. You know, we knew then. And the Silva didn't see a third round since 2004, so that our strategy to uh, that was our strategy to to go uh, in third round, fourth round, and starting to pushing more the action in this in this round, and, uh, and we we know maybe next time what's going to happen. All right, and finally, what, they're coming back to Montreal. The UFC is going to have a card in April in Montreal. What are you looking forward to there? Uh, actually, it's bad for me because it's two, we two years in a row and I can fight in Montreal, so it's pretty bad. But uh, that would be a good show. And uh, like I said uh, to, uh, to Dana White last time he came, uh, he came to Montreal, I said, you don't understand, the Canadian fans are crazy, you know, and uh, couldn't believe me. And after the, after the, the show, he came back to me and said, yeah, you're right, it's not, it's not Vegas. It's not the same, the same kind of, of crowd, but uh, yeah. that would be a good show again. I'm sorry, I just got one more. David Wazo is now in the UFC. Dennis Kang as well has, has recently signed. What does this mean for Canadian fighters who want to make their way into the UFC? Oh, it's good, it's good. It's just good for the exposure of MMA in Canada. And, uh, you know, it's still part in Canada than the MMA is illegal, you know, in, in Ontario and uh, I think in Saskatchewan, uh, not Saskatchewan, but another uh, province. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, I think it's stupid because it's, uh, it's a beautiful sport and, uh, the people uh, has to understand that uh, it's a real sport and you are professional, it's not just a bar fight. That's it. Well, thank you very much. That's Pat Patrick the Predator Cote at the Warrior Fight Store in Pickering, Ontario. Watch your soul!